<clears throat> uh, hello, people. Uh, this is Tawheed Mustafa Brennan, otherwise known as that kid Brennan. I've been here at the Lauren Job Corps Center for close to a year now. It's been about nine, maybe ten months. I'm drying up slowly as we speak, but that's just for the moment because I just got out the shower. Um, you might have seen some of my programs from uh, some of my videos about the program from before, not my programs. Uh, about the job quest center, don't don't believe all of them. That food is good for the first two months of you being here, and then after you learn about the repetition, if you join culinary, you learn about how the food is cooked and the things that go on behind the kitchen. You'll know that the truth is that it's not good. It's probably not even good for you. Some of the food squirts on people. That's because it's evil. You know what I'm saying? But but that's besides the point. You know, uh, if you want to come to job core. Make sure you have the resolve to finish it. <clears throat> if you don't have the resolve to finish Job Corps, you won't make it out here. I have that resolve. I'm going to finish in the next year and a half. Because I'm going to go into advanced training because I have that resolve. Um, there's people here I've seen got term. Term is another word. It's another meaning for termination. You know, it's the short version of it. Um means you will be going home on a level one or level two or an accumulation of level threes which can add up to a level two or a level one depending on what it is. There's a lot of biased staff here. And the moment you get here you learn about the term Sierra or Sierra as some people say or a Sierra or Sierra which is S for staff, I for is a always right our right and then there's an a at the end for some people always because you know what a staff member says go goes and there have been staff members like that who have had conversations with me and it wasn't for them to be disrespectful or anything like that they were genuinely telling me what could happen if they really like um if they really said that, if they wanted to, to get rid of a student, at any moment they can write them up. And I'm like, okay, so how would that work out for you? Staff member goes over it with me like, okay, well, you're in this office that has no cameras. Um, the closest camera is down the hallway. I could hit my arm on the table or I could say what I gave you. You stole out the office and you, you assaulted me doing that. And you'd be gone the next mo the next morning, if not the morning after that, on on a five o'clock knock. And a five o'clock knock is when they come and get you. They get you at five o'clock in the morning. In some cases four forty five, four fifty, but five o'clock is the latest. You hear? Hello, so and so, you have been turned. There's a lot of people. I, I can name twenty off rip, but that's besides the point. And a lot of them were were stupid for the way they got turned. Some of them were turned in stupid ways that weren't their fault, and other ones were just turned just because they probably just didn't want to be here anymore. So at that point, they didn't really care for the program. So the program will try to keep you here. <clears throat> but yeah, so the staff member told me that, and I'm like, oh, damn, that's that's true, because I've seen it happen to a, another student before, and then I was like, oh, oh, shit, it's real. <laughs> And then I went to go ask questions about it in GGI, and GGI is basically what you have every Tuesday. Uh, you get out of classes at 2.45, which normally it'd be 3.45, and we spend an hour in a designated area for whichever wing you're on, which wing 12 will be the communications building. You know, I'm not on wing 12 anymore, but that's just for all of you who are watching this video right now, nine times out of 10, you're probably a new student or someone who's looking to join the program. Um, my, um, the next video I put out, it'll be of the dorm rooms, and I'm like, okay, the dorm rooms will be the next one, but yeah, um, but yeah, that, that shit is real. If staff member writes you up, uh, about, let's say that there's a hole in the wall out there, and you didn't kick the hole in the wall, but you're sitting out there in the area, all right. They come out there, oh, why'd you kick this hole in the wall? I didn't kick that hole in the wall, I don't know who did it. Oh, well, well, you were the closest person to it, so we're going to mark you down for this. You're going to get an IR, or you're going to get a write-up. Um, 
sometimes when I ask them about that, they're like, well, so why are you sitting in that area? So you want me to leave? You want me to get up and move myself from where I'm sitting because somebody did something stupid over there? That can affect me. It shouldn't affect me in any way whatsoever. I seen that staff member get up in my homie's face because um, he was talking to me and so-and-so um, about what we were doing at the table, which he just saw it from a wrong angle, so he didn't really understand what was going on, so we explained it to him. And while we're talking, uh, my homie's like, yo, can you, he said, can you please? And I've never heard him say please. So that shit, and it really, it made me laugh. I was like, oh shit, he said please? Oh! So, so he said, please, can you back up out of my face? And then I'm like, okay, he said, please. And the staff member said, uh, uh, no, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them. And then he said, I said, can you please move out my way? I mean, can you please move out my face? And then afterwards, he said, why don't you move back? And I'm like, what? You came over here and you're standing in front of him. Get out of his space. You're in his circle. And the staff member goes on, you know. I don't have to take that from you. I can just write you. <laughs> my homie goes off. I asked you kindly, motherfucker. I asked you to move. I didn't disrespect you or anything, but now your bitch ass is gonna disrespect me. You erase a bald head. Look at my. <laughs> He's going off. And, you know, this shit just happens. You know, people have stress built up here. It's a very stressful place. A lot of cigarette smokers here. Um, a lot of closets, a lot of people in the closets who will try to jump out the closet and grab you to pull you back into the closet. Mm. A lot of manners. I'm not going to hold you. Manners scare me because uh, you never know what their next thought will be. I've seen manners do some stupid shit and like... I've seen that some people have been telling me that like some staff members are racist. I can't pinpoint and say who all is what, and I won't, because that's not what this is for. But uh, there was a student here who will not be named. You'll probably hear about them if you ask around. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> during one of our GGIs, he happened to... Um, get aggravated about a conversation that was going on in the GGI, which, you know, you can actually get put on concern. Concern is when you can't leave the center for for that week. And I don't know why they don't do it Monday to Monday, but instead they do it Wednesday to Wednesday and they count that as the uh, PNC week. Uh, PNC is for positive, neutral, or concern. Positive means that you've been activating knee pads for a, whole, a, a long time. Neutral just means that you was you wasn't doing nothing. You probably off the radar. You probably not even anybody. Like you know, you're a background character, unless you're your own character. And then you know, concern just means that you was probably talking disrespectful to a staff member, or you failed to lock your locker, or they saw too many wrinkles in your bed, or too many write ups for the week. But yeah, that's that's how it you know, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, he ended up pushing, he, because of the words that were exchanged about things, him not getting, somebody didn't get their proper chemicals, and he had a particular job to fill chemicals, and when he brought that up during the GGI, because there actually wasn't any problems on the wing, he said, I'm not getting my chemicals, and he, he got up, and he was like, you know, he threatened him, he threatened homie, and he said, I'll beat your ass. <laughs> and everybody's just dying and laughing because they don't think he would do it. They didn't think he would do it. He didn't do it. No, he's still here. Um, But yeah, then he got up and then uh, he said in front of two staff members and uh, he was a Caucasian male, you know, and my friend was like, you know, that's racism because I'm pretty sure he said that because at the end of the day, the kid also got up. And he ran at the the rec doors, which is the recreational area. And it's a big place with a basketball court and all that. But yeah, he pushed the doors open. It was boom, broke it. Friends like uh, this, they're racist. Cause if that was me, cause I'm black, I would have been sent home five o'clock in the morning. Wouldn't have done nothing about it. 
It's crazy, you know. Like how can y'all how can y'all let something like that slide? But then the moment somebody else do it, you know, that's of a different different race, ethnic background, you know, height, gender, you know, they they they're very there's a lot of discrimination on the center. And they like to the, there's favoritism here strongly. You'll see who their favorites are. Like there's snitches here who who don't even be in their trades and they get to work all day. Don't know how they do it, but you know, they do it. Thought you came here to get an education, not to work and sleep. It's not my problem, but you know. You know, the moment you ask them for a job, they're like, There's no openings right now, they're all filled. Nothing but mainers, 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 and mainers, and wait, a mainer. But yeah, so. Come to job where you should get your shit done with. Get out of here. It's a lot of trees that are that are uh, filled with fugaziness. You know. Carpentry isn't that good of a trade as I learned, which I could have learned if I would have put the two and two together in my mind before I even thought about it. I'm not taking it, thank God. It's a limited trade that if you go to it, uh, chances of you going. Oh, chances of you being employed throughout the year are slim because carpentry has to do with majority of outside jobs, and that's if you do join with a union. Um. Yeah, you're you're fucked if the winter comes, and if you're a mainer, you know. But I'm just saying. The CDL program here, it, it'll get you stressed. I got a lot of CDL friends here. Um, the culinary arts program, you you learn a lot about cooking food in there, but but no promises. Everybody learns differently. Um, there's a lot of goofy kids everywhere. The Cisco class is, is pretty school of pretty dope people. They're all dope, majority. Mind you, majority does not mean all. Majority can mean uh, three fourths. It can mean seven eighths. It can mean nineteen sixty twos. But listen, I, that, that's besides the point. Um, uh, yeah. Um, no, it can't mean nineteen sixty two. But yeah, so yeah, it's a lot of a lot of them smell very bad. Uh, yeah, and automotive. There's people in here who don't get their book work done. They don't, they just don't, they slouch around. It takes other staff members to motivate them. To not even motivate, I should say, to force them to do their book work. Uh, with, uh, if you decline, promise that you will be getting terminated from the program. It's very sad and, uh, to see this happening. Because I'm like, well, if y'all would have been helping them, watching them from the beginning, they wouldn't have gotten to this point. But yet, they say they're here for the students. Crazy. I, I sit at the normal table every day. Um, it's like right across from the new students. <clears throat> I like to see them and greet them. Say, what's up? Hello, my name is Tohi Mustafa Brian. You don't have to shake my hand. You don't have to say anything. I won't be disrespectful if you do. I have respect for everybody. I give everybody you know, three chances. You know what I'm saying? It takes three chances. But, to, uh, within those three chances, you know, I don't know you, or you don't want to uh, apply yourself to let me know you, you know, or at least lower some defenses. I'm not gonna get to know you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of holes on center. There's a lot of people on here who, who claim to be what they're not. It's terrible. <clears throat> I know, I know, pedophiles. Fucking. I know bogey fiends, I know rapists on this center, and it's terrible because the same way I know them, the other people know them. It's, it's fucking, it's fucking terrible. The hygiene is poor here. The majority of people don't watch. There's, there's, they let anybody on center. There was this one person who, um, who had, oh fuck, thinking about it makes my skin crawl. Um, the words will be not spoken on this person. I'll skip that. <coughs> But yeah, anyway, they, they allow them to, to walk among us without giving us, giving, us, giving us a heads up. And then that's how viruses and things like that spread. 
because you don't know and you go to one person to the next you shake their hand one person to the next shake their hand you don't know what you gave and what you received just like uh a lot of different things but yeah you shouldn't hang out with your cpp brothers after you get here um uh, only if i should say if they're scrubs like you know if they snitches or they look like they hella suck ups you shouldn't hang out with them because chances are they'll turn on you in a second for some positives a lot of people do that for positives they like sucking up and snitching people get safety awards for that shit and the safety award will give you like 10 extra points which is not worth someone's education getting them terminated from this program which for a lot of people is their last chance like this program is this program is saddening to be honest with you it's a great program but it is terrible people running it their wellness department is so slow and i don't mean slow as in i mean slow as in dirt to dur like they know I have uh they know I have cold meds that must be refrigerated. They go put mine in a lockbox and they leave it in there. But luckily for me my, my instincts kicked in for some weird reason. They said, Yo, you should just go pick your meds up now, even though I had a package and I had to go do like twenty other things. I'm like But you don't need it right now, you use it at night and something just irked me, go pick it up. Went and got it. And he's like, oh, it's not, well, I went to go get it, I should say. And he's like, oh, the RC, uh, residential coordinator. There's RAs and RCs, uh, residential coordinators and residential advisors. You'll probably meet Grandma or Leah or, or Muriel. And Muriel is just some old lady that reminds me of uh, uh, the Grandma from Courage, the Carolee Dog. I don't know her real name, but I do call her Muriel. Um, and they'll probably show you when you get in your first night but this is only for a few i could do it i can't speak on the girls dorm but i'm probably gonna get a girl to get a recording of what happens with them yeah my next few videos will be individuals and they'll be labeled individually um yeah <clears throat> but yeah i went to go get those meds and they he's like they're not in the fridge and i was like what and he's like yeah they're not in the fridge you can't and I'm like, what, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, there's nothing in the fridge. And I'm like, nah, that's stupid. And they didn't give me my meds. He's like, go check in the Dropbox. And I was like, why would I go check in there? They shouldn't put it in there. They know better. And then he's like, just in case, you never know. I was like, you're right. Hey, man. And I found my meds in there. And he said that she had just came here like 30 minutes ago. I was like, oh, okay. It was still a little chill because it was a hot day. So, you know, I, wasn't, I wouldn't be surprised if that shit was hot already. It was a little chill still, so they saved my meds. <laughs> they don't, they they do, they don't do their job correctly. So I ended up saving myself. And what they would have had to say was like, "Well, you should have checked on it." Like, that's legit what they would say. Um, yeah, all their ideas of everything is like you know, snitch on everybody. They literally raising snitches like it's crazy, and snitch seems like such a terrible term. Opposition, rat, informant, um, info broker, uh, shit, uh, knee pad god, shit, <laughs> producer, <laughs> and maybe a consumer. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> and depending on how long they've been here, they're tertiary consumers. Tertiary consumers, I meant to say. Um. Yeah. It's my first video, but I'm still out the shower, you know. I feel like I've, I've stopped doing my videos, and I feel like the stress of job for was slowly getting to me, so I'm like, why not just make my videos again to show what is going on here at Job Core? So, I'm probably not going to edit a lot. I'm still working out the kinks. Hit me up if you know about editing software. I got Adobe Premiere Pro. The old one is rooted. So, support the cause and let me know about that. Yeah. So, you know, like the video. Drop a comment. Subscribe. It will all be well appreciated. Uh, you don't have to watch this video thrown through. But if you did, you, you will want an Easter egg. It's called House Crawl. Fucking with you. Black Ops 4 comes out in a few days.
my birthday's uh, two days from now. Turn 19. I made it to another year, but I got to spin it here a job for. This shit sucks. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching my video. It's Tohi Mustafa Brennan. And I'll probably see you next time. Vice versa, you'll see me next time.